Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I just filmed another video about an hour ago. So now we're here. <laughs> I'll be like, am I, I, I get so hyped for the Candid with Cat videos because you know when I pull off the Corona and the only downside is that itch, guys. This one doesn't have lemon -ish. No, nah. I don't know at this point I'm even thinking of asking my neighbor if he's got lemon Yo, I, eh, it's tricky I don't know corona just hits differently when it's got lemon Wait. hi guys welcome back to the channel are you subscribed if you're not me and my corona will wait please subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel join me <laughs> isn't that isn't that what people say now? <laughs> I know I watch uh, Lassizwe's, um some of his vi videos and uh, where I see Lassizwe, like I see Lassizwe everywhere, but like online and all of that, not live guys. But I see him everywhere and I always hear him say, choing me, choing me when he's like in character, you know, and it's, I find it just so hilarious. So Matumbo Choi Mi, I know it's Senzo and the lady also say it to each other. So please watch Choi Mi man. Subscribe, click the notification bell. We are well with on our word. We're doing the things. So please, please do the absolute most. I would really appreciate that. But today we're gonna get into a candid with cat where we are talking about ghosting, my baby. Well ghost na. This is part two of the ghosting series. I've already put up the first part of the ghosting series. Thank you, thank you, you're welcome, thank you. But this is the fun part. This is where we share our stories. So if you're not familiar with ghosting, or if you want more detail about what I say about ghosting in there, definitely head on over there to that first video, which I will link down below, and then you can check it out there. But for now, we're gonna talk about our stories, and we're gonna talk about your stories. I really don't have, guys, I really don't have that many stories. Okay. So my first ghosting story happened a couple of months ago because you guys know that I'm dating and all of that. So my first ghosting story happened a couple of months ago. Met this guy, went out on a date with him, and I spoke about this date, um, I think, in my dating in my 30s video something i might have mentioned it but uh the date was average at best okay the date was average at best because some of the things that i started picking up from this gent was one he was pompous he was arrogant he was talking about what he had and what him and his friends have done mind you this is a 40 year old man so for me dating somebody who's 40 and above is perfectly fine okay i am 30 something right now okay so it's perfectly fine for me so i thought that you know what this is gonna go different this is gonna be different this is definitely gonna be proper i got there and all he was talking about were his friends and how he went uh on a trip with his friends and they went to cape town and they went on this trip for his birthday and his friends ended up spending spending somewhere around like 30 40 50k on him for his birthday weekend and i'm like oh so you didn't you didn't spend anything your friends but he's like yeah i know my friends and blah 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 and then he went on about how his friends are all just such top achievers um they have phds and this and that and the other Listen, I couldn't even get a word in edgeways. He was talking so much. And when I arrived, I am not one to... I, I love giving... I love for people to be themselves and to speak their own language. You know what I'm saying? Like, but project and live out their own life and own their life and whatever. So when I saw him, you know, he had his fingernails painted and I was just like okay i found that different but it wasn't something that i would be like ah oh, yeah no uh, his fingernails were painted like a gray kind of like a charcoal gray color and all of that and uh, that was fine what disturbed me was the fact that he just went on and on about himself and about how in the line of work that he is in he might he meets a lot of celebrities all the time he deals with celebrities on a daily basis if there is one thing that 
I hate, <laughs> if there is one thing that I hate, 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 it's somebody who name drops and talks about how you've been here and you've done this and you've done this. And uh, oh, I think I mentioned him in a vlog of mine where he was like, you should definitely go to Tanzania one day if you can and whatever. You should go to Zanzibar, more specifically in Tanzania, if you can and all of that. And yeah, you'd really love it there. In my head, I'm like, what makes you think I haven't been? It was that date. So when we left, okay, that night, he's... <laughs> He clearly thought it was a great date. He let me know when he was home. And the following day he was like, so last night was great and blah, blah, blah. Literally, I think I spoke to him for the day after the date. And after that, I was just like, ghost. Now, the problem with me is I didn't even block. I didn't do nothing. I just, he sent messages. I read them. I literally blue ticked him. I read them and I didn't respond. I completely ghosted because I felt like, you know what, before Ziyaguti, before we go far, my darling, I think it's better. I think it's absolutely better if we just cut it. Let's cut it right here. Let's just cut it. Um, and so I ghosted. And I did this with quite a number of dates um that i have been on not only recently but also over the years uh, quite a number of dates i just felt like look we haven't gone far we've just gone on a few dates i i can see that this is not for me and i don't feel the need to explain why because if we had been in a relationship where we've been together for much longer and all of that i definitely do feel that yes i would explain but i just didn't feel like he needed it and i was totally fine with it uh so i'm gonna get into your ghosting stories now i need to just pull up my archives on the gram i it was wild okay it was wild and <laughs> let's let's get into it um, so this one says hey cat so this other ex of mine ghosted me for two months when he came back he told me that he loved me and all i blocked him everywhere till this day and it was about eight months ago i mean who leaves for two months and then comes back and says i love you let me tell you who does that men men will do that will disappear for two months live his best life wherever he's living his best life then come back two months later and say and expect you to be ready, open arms and waiting. This is from a gent, and I know him. We're quite, we're quite cool. Me and him are quite cool. He says, she visited Sunday after church and disappeared after that, and then only for her to return four months later. Who does that? I feel like Batong... I told you guys in my previous ghosting video that... The problem about ghosting is that people do not want to address conflict and confrontation. They fear it. They don't want to address it. So instead they ghost. This is what people do. My problem is when they come back four months later or two months later, they come back. What's their story? What are they chatting you up and saying? Like, hey, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, Ish, yo, I was lost. Yo, I was lost in life. Or oh, Ish, I went into the army and then I figured, no, I don't want to do it anymore. Or oh, Ish, I'm a born again Christian. Like, what do they say? Like, what, what do they say when they come back after ghosting you? Because obviously the ghost, the ghost D, the ghost D is going to want to know from the ghoster why did you up and leave and now all of a sudden you want to do the comeback season what must i do about your comeback seasonings hey man it's a trainer yes sir. what am i supposed to do with your comeback seasonings no no an ex ghosted me this is another one an ex ghosted me for a week or so at some point i was worried about him plus it was long distance. that's a, that's that's the thing when somebody who ghosts you and you're not somebody who ghosts people they disappear on you. They don't talk to you for a while. And then you actually end up worried because you're thinking, hey, man, nah. are you like, is this person okay? Like, is this person okay? They are fine. 
If there's one thing I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody goes to you and they keep quiet and now because you are the empath and the good person that you are, you worry thinking or something is probably wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with them, baby girl, doll. There's nothing wrong. But right, they're in between the thighs and the places and the smiles. They are completely fine. They're right. They're okay. There's, that, 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 don't worry about whether they are not okay or they are okay or they're not okay or something must have happened to them. They're perfectly fine. If something did happen to them, you would know. So if he's, when he's gone silent, don't worry. Don't worry. Plus, it was long distance. Then one day I sent a message saying that I just want to know that he's, he, uh, he's fine. That was the last text from me. He was responded a few days uh, later, after a few days, saying that business is hectic. Then a few months down the line, it's him. I mean, I mean, yo, yes, I'm, I've been so busy. Work has been so crazy. Yo, I've been studying, I've been studying, I've been doing my midterms. Yo, I'm working on my PhD. I'm so sorry, I've been so busy. Let me tell you something about people, okay? If somebody wants to talk to you, they'll talk to you. If somebody wants to see you, they'll see you. If somebody wants to spend time with you, they will do it. Don't ever think Uguti, somebody is too busy. People fly from a different country to a different country just to see the person that they love and care about even for five hours. And they fly back because they're so busy. So please, you can miss me. Let you, let him miss you on that business when a baby girl. What the, what the yell, what the yell. He apologized. He said he doesn't want me back. He asked me out on a date. We vibed for two weeks and then gone. Batum! You know, you have to ask yourself well, what makes people act the way they do when it comes to ghosting. Because I find it so freaking strange how you can vibe with someone. Everything is perfect. It's going so well. You're thinking that, oh my God, he's going to be my husband. <laughs> now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give him, I'm going to give him babies. I'm going to give him babies two weeks. Dog, gone. Clap, 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 clap. I feel like bye-bye without saying bye-bye. How, how do people do that? Because I often wonder to myself, well, okay, what must be swinging in your head to think that, okay, I'm out, I'm done, I'm whatever. Like, what's, what's happening in here? Like, I'd, I'd really be keen to know. I'd really, really be keen to know, but... People do that. I met a gent at Groove. He took my IG handle. We went out on a date. And after that, I ghosted him. Okay, tell me why. Why did you ghost him? Did the date go badly? Like, if the date went badly, I get that chat. I get that chat because hence I say I'm also a ghoster. And I've been ghosted before. So I've also been a ghostie, you know. But I'm trying to get the chat down why do we, I know in my sense that I walk away because I just don't feel like, look, we're not vibing. It's cool. Like you, you, you're cool, but not for me. And I feel like I don't have to explain and go into this huge spiel about this or that or the other. Like, you know what? The date was good. Thanks for paying for my meal and having me buy a couple, a couple of drinks, whatever. Things that I could have personally done myself. But thank you for the company, even though it wasn't that great. But I don't feel the need to discuss any further. But I need to understand why other people do it. Is it because the date was bad? Or is it because... I don't know. Uh, I was ghosted by someone I considered a good friend six years ago, and I still don't know why it hurt me. Now, let me tell you something about this. I'm glad uh, she said this because it leads me to my story as well. I became a ghoster when it came to a certain friend of mine. Now, the thing is, it was bad for me to have done this because we were friends for a really long time. If it is somebody who I'm friends with for like all of two minutes and then I realize that, you know what, this is not the friend for me and whatever. And then I, I, I just, I pop off, I take off, I disappear, I ghost. Then I don't need to explain. But I feel like this time around, I feel her pain in that I feel that I should have said something to my longtime friend. Uh, but I essentially just ghosted her because I felt like, in my case, this is my story where I became the ghoster. Me and her were cool. Everything was great. 
But over the years, we've had a very tumultuous relationship. We're friends one minute, we're not friends the other minute. Um, you know, my family members know her, my other friends know her and all of that. But we would be on and off a lot of the time. So the last time when I decided to keep quiet and ghost is because she had asked me for something. And when she asked me for some, I felt like, okay, now you're overstepping the mark. Like at this point, you really wanting me to go above and beyond, even as a friend. Like I can't be, it, she had asked me something like really personal that involved me having to give her my details so that she could do something. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it was something along those lines and I found it quite personal because she was not asking for herself, but she was asking for someone else. So she needed my details so that she could help someone else. And I felt like, uh, yeah, no. And I responded properly and I said, listen, um, I gave her the reasoning that I had given her. And I felt like after that, she kind of took it some type of way and she mised me for a long time, for a couple of days. And then I sent her a message. I remember sending her a message and then I sent her a message saying something along the lines of how now, so now we're quiet, now we're not talking, like what's going on, like are you okay, are you good? And then she was like, yeah, well, you went quiet on me, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I didn't. And then after that, I felt like, you know what? She clearly got upset at the fact that I, I told her that I'm not going to help her with this or not even help her help the other person that she was asking help for from me and all of that. I, I think you, she, she took it some type of way. And then I realized that, listen, if she's going to get angry at this and whatever, then really it's so dumb that fine. If we don't need to speak, then fine. That's that on that. And we didn't speak. We didn't speak. But recently something happened that caused us to speak but uh even with that said i just i felt bad that we didn't have that conversation where i would tell her that listen i don't like that you did this or i don't like you did this or whatever like i felt bad that i didn't do that but um i wasn't going to bend over backwards and do something th that would involve my personal details helping out somebody that wasn't even my mate like it just didn't it just didn't even make sense so I am sorry to this person who was ghosted by someone that they considered a good friend six years ago. Sometimes, sometimes there's certain reasons why people ghost. But I genuinely feel like if you, if you really want to know why, six years is a long time. I don't think I would do it now. But if it still hurts you to this day and you really want to know why, and you really want closure, even though closure is a scam sometimes. <laughs> closure, closure is a scam. Closure is a scam. Closure is a scam sometimes. Um, but um, if you really want to know why and it's still hurting you, definitely, definitely. I want to ask her, but ask, ask and see if they respond or whatever. If, if it'll help you um, rest easier, definitely ask. I wish she could have cared enough to tell me what went wrong. I'm so sorry. Like, I feel the hurt in this message. I really this do. This other message says, he planned our future within a month of dating. I then told him that I have no man. What? Within a month of dating. Then told me that I have no say since he's the man and he makes decisions and the woman follows. I disappeared like I'd never met him before. I definitely agree with that ghosting, okay? If somebody's gonna like pull their weight because you're the man and you're not gonna tell me what to do, we've only been together a month and you're already running stuff and you're telling me that I'm not gonna, I don't have a say, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna tell me what to do, blah, 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 oh, you're gonna tell me what to do and I'm not gonna tell you what to do because you're a gent. Must be bonkers. I'm so sorry, you can proper, proper miss me. You're not, within a month, get out of here, now I'm psyched, get out of here. Yay. This is a longer message, so I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of reading. Um, yay, I was ghosted once upon a time. Please keep me anonymous, I always do. We both studied at the same university and met in the apartment complex where we both stayed in Johannesburg. 
What felt like a deep connection and potential for a long-term relationship became nothing when he went home to Woodbank during the holidays. It was one of those short one-week holidays during the year. He ghosted hard. Just dead silence all of a sudden. There was no argument, nothing. We went from cloud nine the day he left after he previously made uh, the move to make things official to utter silence. He came back to his apartment and we parked our cars within the same area so we would often cross paths or see each other from a distance. We walked past each other like we were complete strangers. What the hell? No direct eye contact, no greeting. This man ghosted me and I wasn't about to beg for communication. Damn right! Damn right! How? Who does that? Beg for communication. When I saw him after he ignored my calls and texts, he eventually reached out and apologized and explained that he was in a dark place. This is the problem sometimes. Sometimes this is honestly true that people are in a dark place and often can't navigate around uh, communicating their emotions to, some, to the next person. So they just ghost. Um, therefore, like what I was saying in the previous video, part one of this series of videos, that some people just are afraid of conflict and confrontation. So they would rather just ghost. Sometimes it's true, but sometimes people use that as an excuse, as an alibi, alibi. <laughs> they use that as an alibi or an excuse or as a way in which they can justify their poor behavior. Sometimes it just wasn't anything. They just weren't interested anymore. And therefore they decided to go, yeah, well, there's that on that. I'm out. I'm good with this chick. So yeah. He left me hanging with silent hope every time we briefly spoke throughout the years following that by saying cryptic things within the main message uh, being us reconnecting in a few years. Coward, cowardly really. Totally wild. Totally wild. Ghosting story. I'm queen ghost and I don't even say this in a toxic way. I had a girl I met. Okay. Had a girl I met on the socials built a beautiful friendship. We planned on starting a business together. I did most of the research while she just laid back. Fast forward to this fab, my grand passed. I'm sorry. Uh, then all of a sudden, all of a Sunday, person tells me that she went ahead with the business without me because she needs funds for rent. She was in inconsiderate Considering the time I was going through, it wasn't jealousy that made me ghost. It was inconsiderate behavior. She took all of my ideas, but still couldn't execute. Ghosted and the business never even stood. You see, that's what, that's what you get for someone ghosting and then stealing your idea. That, that's what happens because it was your passion project. It was your baby. And then she ended up being on board, but was lazy about it. But wow, that's wild. And I can't even tell you how I can relate to the story because one of my good friends is going through the very same thing right now. And oh my God, it's so freaking wild because I'm going to call her and be like, Hey baby, like what you're going through with so-and-so. Multiple people have gone through it, but that is freaking wild. Like, how do you, you, she steals the business and then the business still fails. That's the thing. Or you must have, you must have crack, man. You must have this thing out. Okay. If I'm going to steal the business, I must make sure that this thing is successful. How did she steal the business? If it was your idea and all of that, had you got registered for CIPC? And if you did register, did you register her as a director? Like, how did you do it? How did she steal the business or did she start her whole, whole new thing? Different, different um, name, but same ideology. Say! Anonymous says, I called her, I called a friend and could not reach her. I sent her a message on WhatsApp and she responded like she was okay. No weird vibes at all. And I had informed her that I'd been trying to call. She blue ticked me and we never spoke again. She changed numbers and didn't let me know. Also, I'm also assuming that she muted me on social media because she doesn't like, comment, or even view as she used to. I've let that ship sink too. Wow. I don't know why, oops. I don't know why girlfriends do this 
where they just and a lot of the time and i feel like it hurts and stings a lot more when it's a friend i really feel like when a friend does this to you somebody that you thought you were cool with i mean i i lost contact with a friend a good friend of mine sometime last year for a couple of months and i know how hurtful that was we didn't ghost each other we just confronted each other on something and then we both thought that we need a break because she was going through whatever she was going through and I was going through whatever I was, I was going through. So we felt like we need a break. But even in that break, it was a really lonely time for me because she was somebody that I would speak to constantly over and over and over again. So I don't know how this happens where friends just ghost each other, not say anything, mute you, but you know what that happened with me too <laughs> this is my next ghosting story of uh a friend that i got that got to be my friend through my friend right <laughs> so it's like uh me knowing Dineo, Dineo and I are good friends, and Dineo introduces me to Sintaulele. It was that kind of situation. So Sintaulele and I became good friends, and we'd hang out with Dineo, all three of us, and we had a group on WhatsApp, and we had we chatted a lot, blah blah blah. Until one day, Sintaulele just went quiet. Okay, she removed herself from the group that we had with Dineo and she continued talking to Dineo on the on the other side and whatever and i would te text Dineo and say to Dineo like listen Taulele, i haven't i've been trying to text her she doesn't respond to my messages she blue texts me is she mad at me like i'm trying to understand what's going on have you been speaking to her and Dineo would be like yeah i speak to her almost every day and she seems fine i'm like hey bro so she's ghosting me but mama Dim, what did i do to this girl and then all that time Dineo is our mutual friend. So I met her through Dineo and she's friends with Dineo. So then she decides to mise me. And I'm just like, sis, what? I, uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. What did I do to you? You know? And um, so I would message her, nothing. After some time, I would message her again, like maybe about a week later or whatever, like, dude, are you okay? Blah, blah, like, are you mising me? What's going on? She's like, no, I'm just going through a tough time right now. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, okay, no, cool. Then uh, I would leave it. Then after some time, I remember texting her and she responded to me uh, by saying that uh, me and her weren't friends. Oh, no, no, Dineo called her and asked her like, yo, dude, you don't even, how long is this? E okay. Yo, dude, you don't even talk to Katleo anymore. Like, what's going on? Did Katleo do something or say something? And then she responded to Dineo and said, Katleo was never my friend. Katleo was your friend. That time, we had crashed at each other's houses, like slept there at each other's houses, had so many nights where we would hang out, drink, blah, 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 go out to dinner dates, go out partying, go out, uh, freaking, we'd have wild nights and all of that. It was just freaking beyond me. Like, I, I don't even know. And I'm like, hey, okay. So the moment she said that to, to uh, Dineo, I immediately blocked her off of all my social medias. Blocked her on Facebook. I blocked her on Instagram. Blocked her, blocked her, block, 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 block. Like, I just was like, I'm not about that energy. Because I didn't do anything to you. And if you're gonna do that and then have the guts and goal to say, yeah, but she was never my friend. She was your friend. Meanwhile, okay, bye then. And then at some point she was, she asked Dineo a few weeks after that. She's like, no, I was looking for something that was on Kat's uh, Instagram page. And I see I can't find her on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And Dineo was like, oh, really? Mm, I don't know. I'm like, it's because I blocked you. That's how it works. I don't see why you should have access to my life. If you're going to be such a shitty person, then I don't see why you should have access to my life. Bye. Uh, he ghosted me for a month and he said he was going through a phase of social withdrawal, yet he socials, he was all over the place and with so many people. Fast forward eight months down the line, he comes with, hey, pretty, I'm good now. Um, I'm good now. Let me know where we can pick up from. No explanation. <laughs> no, nothing. So I decided not to engage. Good for you. Like, imagine eight months later, you suddenly get, hey, stranger, hey, pretty, I'm sorry? What do you mean? What do you mean? I just, 
No. No. How about no? No. Firstly, we were talking on the phone Friday night and he had to hang up because he had to go lock the gates at his house and he only came back on Tuesday with no explanation. Secondly, he ghosted me on the weekend. We were supposed to go on vacation and he came back with a story, Uguti, yena mele ayotwas. So he came back with an excuse that he has to go and um, go for his, what, what do you call it? For his ritual passage of being a trained sangoma or ngaka or whatever you'd want to say. That's uktwasa, that's what uktwasa is. Thirdly, he ghosted me for two weeks and found out that, uh, and I found out that he was cheating on me and then he dumped me for finding out that he's cheating on some why you so nosy in my business oh my god and this is all one guy it's like oh my god lastly like last week he ghosted me for another two weeks then dumped me after my birthday just only because i asked him why he didn't wish me a happy birthday this this is toxic you see the firstly and the secondly and the thirdly, and the I guys, I, you, this person who wrote this, you are subjecting yourself to this. You keep going back. I don't know what it is that he gave you that is possibly maybe nice and delicious and all of that. I don't know what it is about him that makes you keep going back, but this is unhealthy. This is toxic. Oh my God. Please let me know when we can burn men. But uh, today. We can bend them anytime it's tea time. Anytime it's tea time. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, there's more. There's definitely so much more, but I feel like this video is long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Candid with Cat ghosting edition if you did enjoy it and if you'd like more of these videos and definitely let me know what you'd like me to talk about on candid with cat that would be great until then i'm gonna go i'm gonna finish off my beer and possibly have another one and i will see you in the next video so do subscribe do follow the channel thank you so much for constantly being here and showing your support it means the absolute most to me i am gonna go now and i'll see you in the next one see you soon